Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics. In this video, we're gonna talk about sight radius on handguns. Is it important? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Maybe? This is definitely one of those topics that we can argue about until the end of time, or until sighting systems such as iron sights are considered very, very antique, like some of the ancient sighting systems we use that iron sights evolved into. Is sight radius important? Well, it is because it gives you proper alignment on an iron sight only handgun. So it's gonna be aligning the front and the rear, uh, controlling the elevation in regards to the target, giving you a sight picture, allowing you to shoot accurately. However, maximum amount of sight radius on a handgun, uh, using as an example a Glock 34, has a great deal of sight radius and is considered to be a very accurate handgun because of that. However, its main reason for being accurate is the fact that it has a longer barrel than say a Glock 26. Now, an example in this video, uh, I'm gonna use an Agency 26 that has been milled irons forward for an optic. Now, as soon as I got it, I decided I'd been asked about this enough that I wanted to make a video about it. And when it comes to condensed or short sight radius, it doesn't get much shorter than irons forward on a Glock 26. So the particular gun you're looking at has the irons moved forward of where the optic is going to sit. Now you'll notice the front sight sits on the compensator. However, even with that configuration, I did gain a little bit of that sight radius back by moving that front sight out onto the compensator, uh, but I'm not gaining back the sight radius that I would get even from a traditional Glock 26, and it even has less sight radius than a Glock 43. In fact, in this configuration, your irons forward configuration, even full-size handguns usually lose the sight radius you see on even compact full-size, or such as a Glock 34. So if I moved irons forward, say, example, on a Glock 19, uh, it's going to have less sight radius than a smaller gun, such as a Glock 26. Is that a big deal? Well, it depends on what your purpose is for your iron sights. On this particular gun, the iron sights are there as backup sights only. And I will not make the argument that you'd be able to shoot more consistently accurate with this iron sight configuration than you would with a Glock 34. But the question of accuracy, of course, begs what are you trying to accomplish? Usually this discussion comes up when people talk about wanting to carry a 34 over a 17, when we're talking about Glocks, but we're talking full-size extended, full-size compact. Or a Glock 17 over a Glock 19 because they want the extra sight radius. The sight radius they're actually gaining, and they are gaining some, is mostly neg negligible for the average shooter because it takes a lot of skill and appreciation to be able to appreciate that small gain in sight radius. And of course, the sights you choose matters, and ultimately, like I've kind of already mentioned, what you're doing with the gun probably matters more than anything when we talk about the regards of what is that additional sight radius going to do for us, what is it not going to do for us, is there any disadvantages to it? There is actually a disadvantage to a lot of sight radius on a handgun. Like all things, that disadvantage is contextual to what you're doing with the gun. If I'm shooting bullseye at 25 or 50 yards, iron sights, and a longer sight radius with the skill set arguably is going to give me greater performance. However, it's going to take me longer to establish proper alignment and proper sight picture, relatively speaking, with the sight radius of, say, a Glock 34, than it would for me to establish the same type of sight radius, equal light, equal height, uh, sight alignment, and then sight picture on, for example, my Irons Ford Glock 26. So taking the same target, same distance, and comparing the Glock 34 to the reduced sight radius irons forward on that Glock 26, what kind of practical accuracy can I hope to achieve? Well, shooting at 50 yards on a body size target, I'm able to hit it with the Glock 34, but I'm also able to hit it with that irons forward Glock 26. Uh, what about an eight inch plate, 50 yards? Glock 34, no problem at all. Glock 26, no problem at all. And then of course, let's go super, super tiny. Let's get something that's so small that the sight radius completely covers it regardless of configuration. A six inch plate, Glock 34, easy. Glock 26 with the irons forward, also pretty easy. The point here is sight radius is important. But what's more important is the appreciation of the sight radius by the shooter and the skill set necessary to employ it. And of course, people are going to say, of course, I know that. It's all about the fundamentals. But sighting is part of the fundamentals. And if you can't appreciate sight radius, long or short, and how to apply it to what you're trying to accomplish, then the argument over sight radius is kind of irrelevant. This, of course, is in no way of me advocating for even with a 34, go with a shorter sight radius. There's no reason to do that. Iron sight's only gun. Get the longest sight radius you can uh, based on whatever that gun is. But if you're going to go with an optics uh, platform and the backup sights are backup sights, then a shorter sight radius is really not going to be detrimental. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.